Uh, my name is Becky Abbott and I'm the manager of treatment and research for the National Foundation for Ectodermal Dysplasias and we're a nonprofit organization who works with families and support families who have ectodermal dysplasias. Ectodermal dysplasias is a rare disorder that um, affects teeth, nails, hair, and sweat glands. Uh, for example, our families have very sensitive skin. They also have, um, some families have skin erosions. Many, um, many of the families who have ectodermal dysplasias have either many missing teeth or they have no teeth at all. Uh, they have very sparse hair and then many of our um, families who have ectodermal dysplasias or individuals who have ectodermal dysplasias do not sweat because they do not have um, fully functioning sweat glands. Uh, Ectodermal dysplasia is a genetic disorder and diagnosis is hard um, because most often times a dentist is the first one to diagnose a person with ectodermal dysplasia when they realize that their patient has many missing teeth and then that dentist usually refers patients to a geneticist for um, further evaluation. There is no treatments as of right now, however there is um, different research that is in the works to try to find um, different treatments to help our families. Uh, our families most often are helped by um, dental work or oral treatments. We're working um, right now on legislation that will help our families get insurance coverage for dental treatments and that in, um, bill is called the Ensuring Lasting Smiles Act. It's a federal legislation that's going to be reintroduced this week and what that legislation will do is it will ensure that medical insurance coverage provide um, coverage for the repair of any congenital anomaly as long as it's uh, medically necessary treatment. So